What's going on, guys? Christian Belay here with the Denver Nosebleeds. Um, I'm still catching my breath from this game. Uh, that's why the phone's leaned up against a paint can. Um, I'm leaning against a, bed, a box spring of my old mattress because that game was lunacy. Absolute lunacy we witnessed tonight in Colorado. Uh, the Avs win 6-4. to four. Wasn't the prettiest game. Wasn't. Plain and simple. But they found a way to get the win, and that's all that really matters. Before we go much farther, shout out to our friends over at Clutch Bet Sportsbook. Go use the promo code Nosebleeds and sign up. Get some free bets on me. Um, I live bet the Avs when they were down 4-3 to three to start that third period, and I catched it at plus 165. So just saying, go download it, get some free bets on me. Let's get into this game recap because I I'm just warning you, if you're watching this video, this may be a five-minute video because that's how much craziness happened in this game. Uh, in the first period, I thought the Avs were really really good. Nathan McKinnon gets the first goal of the game, number 299 on his career. Beautiful shot, beautiful goal, beautiful power play. The Avs up 1-0. You're thinking this is going to be smooth sailing. We're going to smooth sail into this. Uh, it, it wouldn't be that way. Uh, the Senators will respond with two quick goals. Um, the first one, Georgiev a little bit out of position. Not much he can do other than that. That back door was wide open. Second one, that was just a I, so many crazy bounces had to happen on that play for that goal to go in, and it goes in. And the center's up 2-1. McKinnon responds, gets goal number 300, his second of the night. Ties the game at 2. I don't know. I, I thought after that first period, I thought the Avs were the better team. I think they outshot the centers like 22-9 to in that first period, but they only were able to get two past Corpusalo, and Georgiev got a little bit screwed on the two that beat him. Not much he can do. Go into the second period. The second period was one of the ugliest periods I have ever seen from the Colorado Avalanche. So bad. Their second periods continue to just be absolutely atrocious. So bad in the second period. Uh, the center scored twice. Georgiev on the fourth one. I don't know what he was doing. Uh, Riker said he slipped. I don't know. Wasn't great from Georgiev in that second period on that moment. But after that, he made some massive, massive saves to keep the Avs in this game. Um, the Avs were just giving the Senators odd man rushes the entire second period. We were lucky it wasn't like 6-2 to two by the end of the second period because that's how good the Senators were. Remember when I said the Avs outshot the Senators 22-9 to nine in the first period? I think the Senators outshot the Avs 23-7 to seven in the second period. It was, a, it was a tale of two periods, and the Avs were lucky to only be down 4-2. It could have been a lot worse. Georgiev, I know he's been struggle bus riding lately, but he was really good in this game. Outside of the one that was just a complete flub by him, he made some absolutely massive saves. And after that fourth goal, he didn't allow another one to get by him. So I don't know. I'm not going to say Alexander Georgiev is back. I'm not going to say he's he's a terrible goaltender that the Avs need to go get a new one. But hopefully he can build off of that second half of this game because he was tremendous in it. And I, I really do think this could be the start of something special for him. Um the Avs luckily get a power play late in the second period. Miko Rantanen, who I don't know what's up with Miko. He can't hit the broadside of a barn, but he hit the post earlier in this power play, and then he finally scores on a terrible angle shot, puts the Avs only down by one. And that was massive because they did not play well enough in that second period to even think about going into the third period down by one. We go into the third period. Nathan McKinnon on the power play gets the hat trick. Ties the game at four. The centers were challenged for offsides, and this is where the offside challenge annoys me. Um, we're talking millimeters if Val was offsides. You can debate it all you want. The camera angle showed that Val wasn't offsides, but it, it's just such a stupid rule that you can challenge that. And I honestly think because the hat trick happened, that's why it stayed so long. But the goal stands. Thank God Val was eight foot three, as our friend Evan Wall put. Uh, I don't know how he stayed on sides, but they do tie the game. They get another power play. Miko scores finally on one of those below the goal line deflections to give the Avs a 5-4 lead. And then the rest of the third period, the Avs were on the penalty kill. If there was one thing the Avs did pretty well tonight, it was penalty killing. After the first goal by the Senators, I thought the PK looked very, very good. And they were able to keep the game at 5-4. to four. Some of the calls late in the third period didn't love them. Didn't think they were great calls by the referees. But that's just what's going to happen. And the Avs killed him off. And then Georgiev made some huge saves in the final two minutes of this game. And McKinnon gets his fourth goal of the game. The first player in Avalanche home history to score four goals in a game. Um, if Nathan McKinnon's not the NHL MVP, I don't know who is. Without him, the Avs lose this game 6-2. to two. Without him, they lose this game 6-2. to two. So, shout out to Nathan McKinnon. That's the MVP. Four goals from him. The Avs rally again 
from a two goal deficit to win the game. Um, still a lot of things to clean up for this team. A lot of things to clean up, but they're getting better. Hopefully Georgiev can build off of this. Miko seems to be getting out of his funk, but man, we need some depth scoring, guys. We need some depth scoring bad because outside of McKinnon and Ranson, no one else scored a goal tonight. So going to have to figure that out, and uh, it's a lot easier to figure out this stuff when you're winning. Uh, we have a couple days off, night before Christmas Eve, face the Coyotes. We all know how those games go, but holy shit, what a game, what a win, and uh, Griffin and I will break it all down tomorrow on the Teledavages podcast. But until then, let's go abs, baby.